I'm Joyce. I'm the curator for the Sea Focus 2022 edition. I wanted to just share a little bit about the theme for this year called Chance Constellations. The idea behind it is that it takes something that is perhaps quite familiar to us, which is constellations. And constellations are, you know, these star patterns that have long helped us to navigate and guide ourselves, you know, through the world. And I think it's really to say that in chance constellations, it's really how we might look at an opportunity that we might choose to seize when we decide to make alignments and I think that's really what the art of the present day is about as well. My name is Jib Amberson. I started collecting contemporary uh, art, mostly from Southeast Asia, uh, about 20 years ago. In the context of Sea Focus, the first work I'd like to talk about is by Tai Wujet, but he's often known by the name Pimor. Tai Wujet is a senior artist in Thailand, quite respected, uh, based in Chiang Mai and he has, throughout his practice, used found materials. He's known as having a certain naivete ab about his works. They're not pretentious, they're down to earth. And I think that really resonates with individuals to see contemporary artwork that may be somewhat abstract, but it is not imposing. So I think his works are fun. Arun Diwahanto Scenario. He's been uh, having his work exhibited for more than a decade. And he's been using volcanic ash in his practice since before 2011, I think. And in most cases, with a resin that comes off as a very glossy sort of work. The work that we have at Sea Focus is part of a new body of work. And it's really quite exciting and is showing a new maturity and a bit of a development from his prior practice. It's using the volcanic resin. The color palette is similar to works that he's done before, these beautiful earthen colors. However, it's a matte finish as opposed to glossy. And it, it has an impasto. It has depth and a variation that did not exist in much of his other works. Next to the work by Arin Scenario is a work by Maria Taniguchi. She's from the Philippines and it is a new exploration, um, but still builds on her past practice. Uh, she is recognized for her series of works known as her brick paintings. And the brick paintings were typically quite large. This is a new body where she's exploring a smaller, more domestic scale, but she's trying out a new color palette, exploring uh, colors in, in a variation of purple. It's a quiet, introspective work that is meditative in looking at a sense of a pattern. What are we expecting to see? And how in looking at that pattern and sort of stepping back, do we also get in sort of a state of contemplation? Hi, my name is Lou Samson and um, I am an independent curator and a founding director of an independent art space, Seed Art Space, here in Singapore. But I'm also half of the Michelangelo and Lourdes Samson um, collection, which really focuses on Southeast Asian contemporary art. Coming to see Focus, I really, really enjoyed the opportunity to see this because there were so many new artists that uh, I discovered through this process. So one of them is actually a Myanmar artist, um, Sawang Wong Se Yang Wei, and uh, the work is uh, called Ong San and U Rashid, which references a, a photograph of Ong San and his uh, Muslim student activist, U Rashid, who served in the Myanmar government with him. So the work was painted as a way to show solidarity with the current Rohingya crisis. The current political situation in Myanmar is erasing this history of Muslims in uh, Burmese society. But history shows us that there was this cooperation and integration of, of the Muslims in Burmese society. What the artist is calling to mind right now is that we shouldn't forget about this past and in fact try to embrace and be more critical um, about the current situation in, in Burma. 
The work by Chong Kim Chu, uh, the Malaysian artist, called Body and Borders. This work was really surprising in its use of maps and juxtaposing this against a human figure. The use of maps obviously ha carries with it a lot of symbolism from national identity to bo political borders. And by juxtaposing uh, these images on top or interlaying the, these images of of historical maps on the body. Uh, the artist is drawing these ideas of how individual lives are so intertwined with national identities. The maps become almost like tattoos on the body, which sort of reference the, the fact that you are who you are because of where you come from and where you're going. I also love the sculptures at FOSS. I understand are hand carved by Ang Shui Wei. These really hearken to abstract forms, but also they have this generous heft and materiality to them, which I really find so fascinating. And seen together as a group, these objects, you know, really are really beautiful sculptures in themselves. This exhibition is really an opportunity to come and find out what the richness of contemporary Southeast Asian art is like. And a little bit like what its name suggests, I think you're likely to chance upon something new and to discover something about the art of this region that connects us to what it means to live here in this time and this place. And I think that is the opportunity that art offers to all of us.